Hi everyone, it's Erin with an adult DIY after dark. And this month we're gonna show you how to make a succulent um, planter with glass jars. Now I will say that you can also make these with a can. If you make them with the can, you can actually drain holes in so that this can be a reusable planter. With the glass jar, it's more of like a centerpiece. Or you can do what I'm doing and I have a fake succulent that I bought um, just to stick in here. You can get these at Dollar Tree even. So the first thing you need to do is you're gonna take some paper. I'm using some very bright paper, but it is um, just some nice scrapbook paper. You don't want it to be too thick because then it won't curve around your glass jar. And I already pre-measured mine with a ruler. And I'm just going to tape it on to this glass jar. Of course, you want to take your label off of your glass jar. You can, the cool thing about this is that you can really put your um, label wherever you want. You can play around with colors and do maybe a couple different colors on this, depending on what you have in mind, whatever your decor is at your house. Mine is not neon colors, but I just really like the colors on it, so I chose it today. Okay, so we tape it on. Uh, if you have hot glue, you could also hot glue it on a little bit. Then I'm going to use some ribbon and make a bow. I only have black ribbon, which is kind of funny with the bright neon. You know, see what we've got going on here. You, of course, if you have your specific colors in mind, probably don't want to use neon and black. Maybe you do. All right. I'm going to fill mine with some of these little rocks, glass rocks. Again, found at the Dollar Tree. Very dusty. Probably will need two to fill this whole jar. I didn't really know. So I just got one to try. And then I would put my succulent up on top. Now this is cool because you don't have to water it. I love plants, but I always forget to water them. So that's why I went with the fake succulent. Of course, if you keep the fake in the glass jar, it can stay that way. You can make a whole bunch of them for your house and do all kinds of different flake fake plants in them, depending on the season. If you really want to put a real plant in here, you can, but they're not made to stay in here for very long because there's no drainage in there. So if you want to do that, I recommend using a can, using a drill, putting a couple holes in the bottom of the can. We have those available at the library if you prefer that instead of the glass jar too. I hope you enjoy making a glass, a recycled glass jar little planter, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.